Welcome everybody to what I'm pretty sure is the 45th day of Sea Otter. I'm Dario, stepping in for Henry, who's in the ICU with an extreme sunburn. So I'm gonna do a quick tech video for everyone. We're gonna walk around and see some of the coolest stuff I've seen this year at Sea Otter. We're here in the Yeti booth with the brand new Yeti downhill bike. Unfortunately, not for public consumption yet. This has already seen a ton of success under Richie Rude, for whom it was custom built. He just handily won the Oceania Champs downhill race on this very bike. It sports 203 millimeters of rear travel, a full Fox 40 up front. It's got mixed wheels and it is a very impressive machine. Yeti kind of took their six bar linkage design from their e-bike, beefed it up a little bit for the downhill bike and did some tweaks that they could only do on a downhill bike. It just kind of gave them a, say like broader parameters to make it exactly as performative as they wanted it to be. Um, with the new six bar design, they actually have a link going directly through the seat tube, which you couldn't do on any of their pedal bikes because of the dropper post situation. It's got angle adjust, reach adjust headset. It's got a flip chip for shock progression and it has chain stay length adjustment. So definitely the kind of thing that can be tweaked a lot to fit different racetracks throughout the year. We don't have a very clear idea of what races Richie's gonna be doing on this bike yet, but from what I heard, he does now qualify for world champs. So we'll probably see him there, which is pretty exciting. I'm hoping we see him at a couple other races throughout the calendar, but only time will tell. We are now at the box components booth looking at their brand new Prime 9 drivetrain. Um, they've been working on this drivetrain for about five years, so it's the culmination of a lot of work. Essentially, this is a nine-speed, full-range mountain bike drivetrain. It's got 11 to 50 tooth cassette. The cassette itself, on the nicest version, is machined out of one piece of steel, which is pretty cool. Should help with durability. They have their own shifter, their own derailleur, and it runs on a standard nine speed chain. Uh, their estimated retail on the whole system is going to be around $680. And that gets you a shifter, derailleur, cassette, and chain. I think what's impressive about this is one, it's completely developed in house by a company that isn't one of the two gigantic drivetrain companies. We are now hiding behind the Push Industries booth, checking out their new inverted mountain bike fork. Um, Darren, the founder of Push, kind of walked me through it, but wasn't able to divulge very much. So all we can really say is that it seems appropriate for a bike like this, and it looks like that. As far as inverted forks go, they have kind of a colored past when it comes to like torsional stiffness and how they actually perform on trail. But it looks like Push has spent a ton of time focused on stiffness for this. Like the chassis up top is super beefy. This upper crown unit overlaps the lower tubes a lot. It looks to be quite robust. And then the axle system has like two double clamps, big old axle in there. It still seems to run on a 15 mil axle. Sorry to all 10 of you who really want things to go 20 mil. All right, we have made our way to Project 321's booth where they are showcasing their new hub design with a convertible flange. It's not an adapter and we're firm about that. Essentially what this is, is it's piggybacking on Shimano's center lock standard. So you'll notice this is essentially a center lock hub but the super clever thing that Project 321 has done is created a collet and flange design that allows you to quickly change this center lock hub to a improved version of the six bolt hub. So this stainless steel collet slides right over the center lock channel behind the teeth. So this sits in there and you slide the flange over top, giving you a six bolt design and then you just plop a rotor on there, tighten down all six bolts. And what's improved about this over a six bolt design is the disc is no longer putting shear force on the six bolts themselves, but instead on that stainless steel collet, which should keep it from loosening over time. It also doesn't have any rocking that your average center lock hub might have. Overall, I think it's a really impressive product. It's of course riding on the Project 321 hubs, which are super high engagement, really nicely built. Uh, retail on the set is $650 roughly. Uh, 
overall, a really cool system. They've also got their magnetic Paul hubs. Each little Paul's got a magnet, keeps it kind of floating in there. There's no spring force that's creating drag. Um, but the main highlight, for me at least, at Sea Otter is this new convertible flange. I think it's pretty dang cool. We have made our way to the Specialized booth. It is gigantic. And today, they've got one new thing, and it's the new Purgatory tire. Kind of billed as a light trail, hard XC tire. It's gonna come in every casing except their grid gravity, which kind of gives you a sense of maybe how adaptable it is. Um, they're saying it's the kind of thing you could run in certain cross-country race situations in like the S-Works casing, or if you want it on like a light trail bike, they have it in the grid trail, which is their heaviest casing option for this. Comes in the T7, T9 compound and 2.4 and 2.6 sizes. In terms of the tread pattern, it's like pretty standard. The knob height is pretty low on this, so it won't be quite as slow rolling as something like their Butcher or their Cannibal or even the Eliminator. Um, it's definitely built as a fast rolling tire, but there's enough of a, of a corner lug to hook up, it looks like. It has the little block and block technology that they've been using on a lot of their tires recently. And I've really liked the way that that performs on tires like the Hillbilly. So uh, we haven't spent any time on these yet, but I'm excited to, to do so and we'll let you know how they are. All right, thanks everybody for spending some time with me today. I'm currently getting my brain scanned by Outride. They're gonna upload my consciousness into the cloud. Once we're done with that, we me go get some more stickers, pick up Henry from the hospital, and we're gonna call Sea Otter a wrap. Be sure to subscribe for more content and check the site. There's a lot more cool stuff coming. Thank you. Goodbye.